What is going on? Gunners Live Financial with another video. If it's your first time watching, welcome. If you're turning your welcome back. Madden NFL 16 on my channel once again. In this gameplay, you're going to see highlights. I'm the Texans playing against the Steelers. And while you guys watch these highlights, I'm actually going to tell a story. So this story involves fantasy football, and it starts last year year so anyways last year did fantasy football 12 person league with me my brother my parents some friends of mine and basically i had the third overall pick now first overall pick was adrian peterson second overall pick was lashawn mccoy and then i had the third overall pick and i ended up taking peyton manning you know what i'm saying peyton manning plays for the denver broncos and the denver broncos are my favorite team in the nfl so i was like you know what peyton's a good quarterback i'm gonna go ahead and take him i know a lot of people take running backs in the first round but i was gonna take a receiver i was gonna take my boy peyton manning now at the start of the season as far as fantasy football goes he was doing phenomenal he's putting up a bunch of yards a bunch of touchdowns each game he was like the leading point getter on my team he was just doing out but as the season went on he started to decline actually it could be because he's older now but I don't know I don't know like the exact reason but basically he was declining the entire season so I had a fantastic season I actually ended up making it to the finals of the fantasy football league it was me versus my brother and it was week 16 that's the way we do our fantasy leagues the, the final weeks week 16 or whatever and it actually came down to the very last game of week 16 which was Monday night football the Denver Broncos versus the Cincinnati Bengals now after Sunday I was losing to my brother by 12 points right and since I had Peyton Manny and he plays for the Broncos he was the last player I had on my team my brother's team they were done he was winning by 12 points but all his players had played already he was done getting points so I was like you know what 12 points is not a big deal Peyton Manning is going to get me these 12 points and I'm going to win the fantasy league so anyways Monday night comes it's the Monday night football game Broncos versus Bengals after three quarters Peyton Manning had put up 12 fantasy points so me and my brother were tied all right going into the fourth quarter the Broncos were actually down so I was like yes they're gonna be throwing the ball Peyton Manning's gonna give me at least one two maybe three points and I'm gonna win this fantasy league but what happened next was crazy so if you don't remember the game like you probably don't but I remember because I'm a huge Broncos fan and it had fantasy implications but anyways Peyton Manning threw four interceptions in the fourth quarter of that football game. If you don't know fantasy football, basically you lose two points for every interception. So me and my brother were tied going into the fourth quarter of the game. I thought I was going to win, but I actually ended up losing the fantasy league in the final game because Peyton Manning threw all those interceptions. I lost eight points in that one quarter because he threw four interceptions. Now that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Second place, I still made some money. So, I mean, it wasn't too bad, but I could have won if he hadn't choked so hard. But anyways, that leads me to my next topic, and that is fantasy football. Because once again, in a different league this year, I am in the finals. Now, finals this year is a little bit different for the league I'm in. It's actually week 17, and the guy I'm going up against, my team is stronger than his team. Like, overall, in the season, his team had the least points averaged per week in the season so basically i have a really good chance to win because i have a really strong team and i have really good matches but anyways i'll update you guys next week after football season uh fantasy football season over let you guys know if i win or not like i honestly have a fantastic chance to win i hope i do win you know what i'm saying get the pride get the money just call myself the champion but anyways now i'm gonna hop in to do a little bit of a commentary over this gameplay because there's still time left in the video. So as you can see, I am up 21 to six right here. I think this should have been an interception. I, like, I honestly don't know how my guy didn't catch it. It was between Ben Roethlisberger and the receiver and somehow the ball just got past him. Anyways, I'm up 21 to 12 right here. I was gonna do a screen pass, but then I saw like the tight end break, or maybe that was a full line, I don't know, but he broke, he was wide open. So I threw it to him, he ended up catching the ball. Fourth and two right here. Oh, Aaron Foster spins and falls past the line of scrimmage. Third and four. Here we go once again. I'm going to be doing a running play to the right-hand side. And here we go. This is actually Alfred Blue right here. He's going to get the first down. You can see there's only 2 minutes, 12 seconds left in the game. Pretty much sealed up. I've been running a lot. And I was like, you know what? This guy's crowd line of scrimmage. His safeties aren't back. I'm just going to do a slant to shorts. Get that touchdown. Put me up 27 to 12. And then go for two. Look at Arian Foster, bro. He just trucked. And that's where the thumbnail came from. In case you were wondering. But here we are. This guy is like basically out of hope, right? But no. He catches a touchdown somehow. I'm not sure where my safety went, to be honest. I thought they were in a zone. But maybe I actually had him in 
Irish man. I'm not sure. But anyways, next possession, third and five right here. Alfred Blue is going to get up and fourth and inches, bringing Arian Foster. And you know what he's going to do? I'm just going to do an easy toss the outside because the defense is crowding the line of scrimmage. I'm going to go in for the score. As you can see, I put up 35 points. The other guy has 19. I'm going to end up winning this game. So, hope you enjoyed the story. If you do, be sure to let me down, let me know down below in the comment section and leave a like on this video. But anyways, that's going to do it for this commentary and story. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe for more content in the future. Social media links to Twitter and Instagram down in the description box below. I'm going to live. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Just kidding, of course. Nice win. They got to feel good about what they've done.